Hi, welcome back to my channel, Skills Set Go. Up to now, we have seen a field injection, constructive injection, and method dependency injection. And we also have seen if a class is a third party class, how to instantiate the object of those class using dagger. So we have seen different annotations at inject, at component, at module, and at provides, and at binds. Binds. So in previous tutorial, we have seen a field injection but we have seen a field injection in a main activity so this is called field injection as it is in main activity as main activity is created by android lifecycle we have to tell to dagger to create this instance so we are telling by using this inject method so in this activity create all instance all fields which is having at annotation we will see a field injection inside a car so Let's remove this wheels argument here. And let's try to print this wheels here. And now let's execute and see the output. If wheels object is instantiated, we will get a reference value, otherwise we will get a null value. So here the build got successful and let's see the output. So here we are getting an error that wheels has not been initialized and we are using it. So that's why we are getting an error. So up to now we have not done field injection. So in order to tell dagger to create wheels instance we have to make this as inject annotation and that's it. Now dagger will be able to create a wheels object inject object and we can see a reference value for that object. So now you can see there is a reference for the wheels object. Now wheels object is created using field dependency injection of dagger library. So in main activity, even though we have mentioned an annotation for this field, we are telling dagger to create that instance because main activity is not created by dagger. So as car object is created by dagger, then we no need to tell to create these field inject field objects. If we keep inject annotation it is enough the dagger will be automatically created wheels so i hope you like this video and understood the concept the only difference between field injection inside a class and field injection in activity is activity is not created by dagger so we need to tell to dagger to create fields even though we mention an inject and here we no need to we, we can just mention at annotation so please share and subscribe my videos and channel and please follow up for more tutorials of dagger library in kotlin thank you for watching